We are here at Indian Lake State Park. We have electric only, no water, no sewer. We have a full tank of fresh water and we are here for three nights, the 9th, 10th and 11th. The fact that we have electric and I am actually hoping it is 30 amp electric. At least. At least. Non-registered campers. We're going to be registered. Park hours from 8 to 10 over there. We are at site 128 and it's written here on the ground. There's our marker. And there was a marker right there. Oh, there was, oh, there it is. There's one on the pedestal. It is, we are 30 amps and that's it. <laughs> it's just 30 amps. We did find a level spot, so left and right, we are perfectly leveled. We finally have Starlink after five nights of not having Starlink, so all we've been doing for the last two hours is uploading. I've been uploading videos. So now we're going to go down to the white whiteboard to go see what we're supposed to be doing. We're going to take a picture. We have a full tank of fresh water. Hello, I'm Ariel. How are you? Good. Now, what is Go Big Greg? Oh, that'd be Nebraska Huskers. No, oh, okay. I know. I would Penny from, from Big Bang Theory. Nebraska. Nebraska. They, did, they didn't do well today. This is our whiteboard. Wow. This is actually a really nice whiteboard. Okay, the tour is called Or Shores Waters Lights. East Caravan, 4.30 check-in and pictures, 4.30, 30 minutes, at Beach Shelter. They're from Texas. <gasps> name badge. We need our name badge. Oh. We'll get them. We need our name badge. They're by the door. <laughs> How are you? Now you know where they are, right? Yeah. Oh, look, the so silver long. lining. Music oh, look at that. That's adorable. I love it. My, uh, my late missus came up with that. <laughs> I give her all the credit for the good stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm Walter. I'm Scott. Scott? Nice yeah. Pleasure I, to I'm Ariel. 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 Good to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. gonna break the chain. Oh god, I remember that when I was a kid. What, you broke the chain? Oh, many times. We would ride the swings so much that the chains would wear down and break. I don't know what time it is. According to Tony Gray. This is our first meal. What is this called? An empanada? This no. is called a pasty. Pasty. P -A -S -T -I -A. It's a meat pasty. Yes. It's, a, it's delicious. It's an empanada. And I'm having carrot cake for dessert. <laughs> the coleslaw was good. Oh, you carrot found cake. the carrot cake. Oh, yeah. Day two, all 17 of us are here. So it's just air streams in this entire section. Oh, they have handicap. I like that. Very nice. So, oh, here it is, 143, 141. Was it 121, 122? I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. This is what the shower facility looks like. Actually, it looks. There's a bench. Yeah. Isn't look bad. Okay, we're on the way. 
A Ristream. A Ristream? A Ristream. It's a or stream. Oh, there's a car coming here. A lot of silver trucks. Have you noticed that? Yeah. Matchy matchy. Matchy matchy. We don't, we're not matchy matchy. Nope. We're blue. So you wanted to get jackets? No, I'm good. I'm going in. Right. This is the Shishiwa. Did I pronounce that right? Close enough. Shishiwa Point Lighthouse. Here. Hello. Hello. Oh, you were in the film. Yes. I wrote the whole script. You wrote the script. Oh, we don't know. <laughs> May I film you? Oh, yeah, but I'm long-winded, so I don't know how much. I know you were just gabbing away in that I film. Because they all lived in that one house originally. Oh, these are tiny beds. Oh my God, the bed in the air. So when those early schooners came along, they hit those rocks and they went down. Mm -hmm. So we have 16 shipwrecks off of this point out here. Mm -hmm. That's the reason why they put the lighthouse here to stop the shipwrecks. And it actually did until 1958 when the Carl D. Bradley went down off of our point. It did not hit the rocks. The waves broke her in half. Mm. There were 33 men on. Our light keepers went out on search and rescue. They saved two men that were on a raft. The other 31 are down with their ship. Mm. So he did kill a bully that was on the point that was tearing his house apart and he had a trial and he was declared guilty of murder second trial the state of Michigan came back and said there was something wrong with this first speedy trial so they retried him and they called it the castle doctrine where a man can defend his home and his castle it's still on the books to this day for the whole United States all states and it happened right here before the lighthouse was here. Well, two weeks after I wrote the book and we started selling it, he started appearing up in the top of the tower. Oh, good morning. Okay. This is the... This is um, Augustus Pond oh, okay. for the Castle Doctrine. Mm -hmm. And I believe he comes back to say thank you for showing yeah. I was innocent. And he really was. Yeah but it all happened here before the lighthouse was here. Mm -hmm. So he's number five. I have five pictures of him that has oh. come back. So this picture was taken by a mother with two little kids standing outside looking up and they saw it and she snapped the picture. Brown door there. Oh, okay. It's 96 go? steps up, same oh, amount coming down. I can't do that. Same amount coming down. Six can go in the tower, whoever wants to climb tower. I do want to see it though. No more than six, though. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, y
So this is the closest thing that we've ever done to boondocking for several days. So last night, I took a shower, a very quick one. I think I took a Navy shower, I'm not really sure. I, la I, I got wet, I lathered up, I turned off the water. We don't have one of those water turn off things. Well, I had to completely turn off the water. Lathered up and then turned on the water again and rinsed off for maybe two minutes, maybe three. And Walter took a shower this morning. I did dishes. The thing that's been taking up a lot of water space has been the toilet because we have a bidet. So water level wise, we are currently at 69% fresh water, 45% black tank, and 25% gray. So we've got the pseudo boondocking thing down, I think, with 30 amps. We're not quite the no, no utilities thing, so, but we're managing. So would I stay at this park again by myself? No, I would not stay at this park again. However, in a caravan setting like what we are doing right now, where I've got the help, if I needed it, of other air streamers, yes, I would. And that's the only reason I would stay at this park again. Other than that, by myself, no. And the reason for that is it's one, 30 amp. There's no pull through, even though we kind of cheated by pulling through from the other side. It's a lovely park. It's right off this humongous lake. They have a nice clubhouse and on the other near the entrance of this section there are bath houses now when you do come here you need to bring a lot of bug spray there are mosquitoes everywhere there's just mosquitoes right now the temperature has dropped to about 50 50 degrees so the mosquitoes are still here but they're minimized because of the weather and it's wonderful being surrounded by family, family of airstreams. So we're just, when you look down in the middle corridor, it's just airstreams everywhere. It's lovely. But we've got this dry camping or almost dry camping thing done. <laughs> we were able to survive. We're on our third day and we still have fresh water and we still have space in both our black and gray tanks. So and we took showers and feel clean and we're yes. very happy about all of that no we couldn't do laundry but hey with electricity and starlink we feel okay we were able to stream watch stuff almost dry camping yeah we're, we're being pioneer we're like laura ingalls wilder here absolutely <laughs> we're as close to laura ingalls wilder as we're ever planning to be yeah and uh oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> um, the ovens would superheat the air to about 1200 degrees Fahrenheit. That was just to get it ignited. And then the iron itself smelted at uh, 2800 degrees cool. in the furnace. Had industry, Ohio eventually got it uh, because it they, and they had more, you know, political clout. A rail line was connected from those mines to Escanaba. Pretty spectacular, huh? Yeah, beautiful. Making charcoal, you could actually rent. There's a third story of the hotel out back, and it was a two-story Kirby. The whole thing off there. So, um, here, but there were 500 people living here. Uh, this is the company pay office. This is where Walter would be working with all his little ledgers, his paper Excel files. Yep, this is where I would be working. That is a gorgeous map. <laughs> oh. Bald eagle, right there on the trees.
Why was it called pig iron? Why was it called pig iron? As I'm opposed to answer. cow, zebra. I'm going to answer that question when we walk in here. All right. So, <laughs> interesting story behind that. What they did, you'll notice, is this building has a sand floor, and they would dig trenches into this floor, and trenches kind of look like this. So when the foreman said, yeah, we have a good batch of iron in the hearth, they would pull a, a plug from the hearth, and the molten iron would come spilling out into the sand floor and fill the trenches that were built. And this would be what I would call the mother trench, the, the main long trench, and then there were small trenches where the iron flowed into. And you know, it kind of resembles piglets suckling on a mother sow, doesn't it? <laughs> that, that's how it's, it got, it got the name pig iron. So the lime, limestone was kind of like a flux. It collected the impurities in, in the iron ore. So the iron ore was very high grade. I mean, it was 65% iron in the rock. I mean, that's, that's very high grade ore. Okay, we're at Manistiki. And if we get a parking ticket, it's not because of us. It's because the car in front of me, this license plate, did not know how to park. So, if I get a ticket, they're going to get a ticket. And guess what I have a craving for? <laughs> okay, this is an adorable downtown near you. <laughs> it's two blocks long. So after lunch, we're going to walk down and walk back up again. Pan fried pot stickers. Pan fried pot stickers. Assessment so far, the pot stickers are delicious and so is the sauce that comes with it. We got the pepper, onions, beef steak. It's delicious. The fried rice is bland. That Kung Pao chicken is, is very good. And they give you a lot of food. This is the lunch special. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. This is our dinner for tonight. What's in the bag? Large egg drop soup. Large sweet and hot and sour soup. Beef my fun. And sweet and sour pork. Sweet and sour pork. And more pot stickers. And more pot stickers. Okay, we've made it to the end of the street. And Walter's gonna sit in the bench while I go into this craft store. They have yarn. You have to go look at the yarn. Under 300,000. 120 acres. With a lake. And too cozy hunting And cabins. too cozy hunting cabins. Two acres for 200,000, not even. 189, 190. Walter made an observation and he did give this to me in the beginning of the year that we are now in September and Wanda tags were expired it was April. April. So is that five months? Yep, five months. Five months. We've been expired for five months. But this was in the glove box. To make us legal. We have finished our stay here. This was our first attempt at dry camping, meaning that we had no water in or water out. Four days. Four days, three nights and we accomplished it. We still even have water left and space in both the gray and the black tanks. We also had an experience which we could call boondocking because the power went out last night and we had no electricity. So for a few hours we were boondocking and 
It was an interesting experience. We have survived it. Uh, now we will go to a place that has all the proper amenities. As Ariel said, if we were on our own, we would not stay here again because it doesn't have all the amenities that we would normally want. But as part of a group, it's a perfectly fine place to stay. And it's beautiful right on the water. Uh, there's a nice rec center. So yeah, perfectly fine place to visit. Thank you very much and I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.